C'était beau. Amazing. Now we will hear each other. Boris, man. First of all, co congratulations, man. Thank <laughs> you, man. It was so crazy. How do you feel? I don't know, man. It's like I was playing the third time, and every time it was getting bigger and bigger. And I mean, this location is like more, more than amazing. I'm super happy that I was playing here, that I was playing for you, and that I was able to to make the people happy. This is like the most important thing. And I'm happy, the people are happy, you are happy, so awesome. You're a magic man. Um, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. We have a lot of questions, very interesting questions. I, I think I, I never saw that many questions okay. for you. Um, first of all, before Before starting this interview, what's the story behind the ducks? I need to know. <laughs> um, actually, you know, I mean, um, you know, our our label is like called fucking serious. Yeah. So, and this name was coming like this, you know. It's not possible to to sit on the table and and uh, tell the people, okay, we need to do like a super nice brand. Let's think about it. It's not working like this. It's like just coming in mind, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So I was I was doing this create the thing with the ducks like different ones and then on a Monday on a usual Monday I was sitting at home doing my paperwork and then I was like there's no joker duck <laughs> let's do it that's it and now people are getting yeah. crazy for the ducks yeah that's crazy <laughs> it's so nice mm -hmm. so it's as you said the third time you're playing for circle and you're the first artist to play uh, three times for us so it's a, it's a, it's a great honor to have you uh, for the third time How did you prepare? Did you prepare it differently from the second and the first time? Um, I think so, yeah. I mean, today I was playing only tracks which are unreleased. So the people don't know. It's like ID, 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 ID. But I mean, the, the, the most of the hardcore fans know it, that I play all the time tracks they never know. But for me, it was like super nice because, I mean, for me as an artist, if you play like all your unreleased tracks and the people are reacting to it and dancing to it i mean there's nothing more to say you know yeah, it's, exactly. it's crazy it's yeah, crazy yeah. you don't have to play your most famous no. track for no. people to get crazy i That's mean crazy. I, i could like play gravity and take it smart i mean everybody knows it and it, it would be like super nice but also like with the new tracks it's like massive massive so the people are super real fans yeah. and do you plan to release these tracks of course i hope as as soon as possible mm. For now, the track list will be very easy. It's idea, 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 <laughs> right? <laughs> so the first time you uh, you played for us, I think it was like uh, 1,500 people. Yeah. Second time, 5,000 people. Today, almost 10,000 people. Um, do you miss uh, small crowds? Do you miss clubs? Because you don't play that much in, with small crowds, right? No, I mean, the problem is, I mean, if you... Okay, if you play in a big venue, some people are complaining, ah, oh, you're so big, you're playing in a big place, that's, that's, that's shit, you don't know. But then, if you play in a small club, the people complain also, <laughs> because there's not enough space, I cannot go in, you know. So what you do is wrong. Yeah, so, exactly. But I prefer both. So I like the big both. festivals, is good to, um, to make new fans mm -hmm. and the small club is like super nice because the people are in front of you and you can interact with them so like super easy yeah. so both is like perfect maybe maybe the first time we invite you will be smaller Small. crowd maybe man that's different yeah that's good exactly that's good let's do that yeah and uh, now that you know us which which kind of location would you dream of it, us inviting you I mean, I was, I was, I was first uh, talking to my manager, and I was told him, maybe let's do like the um, the castle in Germany, Neuschwanstein, you know? Oh yeah, I know it is beautiful. Yeah, but it was like super complicated. Um, yeah. But I, w I was super happy with this, with this. But I would prefer not to get to to go like for the first time bigger. Yeah, we go smaller. Yeah, you know, maybe it's possible to to play. And in the same time, making photos with someone, talking with someone, making some signs. So it's like super in team, you yeah, know? Yeah, that would yeah. be perfect. Yeah, that's a yeah. very good idea. So we have a few months or, I don't know, to prepare okay. it, right? I will check the, uh, the online audience, uh, the online question, sorry. 
A uh, question from Acid Saul. If you have to give the most important advice to a young producer, what would it be? Uh, that's super simple. I am. I mean, when I was starting to produce music, I think the most important thing is um, to play keyboard, to learn how to play keyboard, to bring like a melody, like an emotion you have in your heart to the people. That's like the most important thing because like producing techno music, everybody can do that. But to make like a super nice melody, everybody can remember that's hard. That's here, you know? Yeah, so keyboard, yeah. Yeah. very nice advice. Second question, uh, uh, question from, oh, Katis Magnusum. Where is the huge globe from Grand Palais <laughs> in Paris, the one you, you played at? Uh, maybe I can answer this one. <laughs> answer uh, it. <laughs> um, so it was a huge globe, right? I think 18 meters globe that we put only for this event. Yeah. Uh, and we created the whole, like the whole uh, VJ and everything. So, unfortunately, it's not existing anymore. It was really and only for this event. Oh, yeah? Yeah, man. Okay. So, um, and I love this question from Chris Undermind. What do you want or expect to see happen with electronic music in the next few years? Oh, that's a, that's a difficult question. Yeah, that's huh? a difficult one. Um, I mean, when I look back, when I started to produce music, um, like the the technique of producing and the sounds of the synthesizers are always like evolving. So the sound is getting better and better and better. And when I look back and when I would play like my, my track Lost Memory, which I produced like in 2007, man, it sounds like shit because like the production and the synthesizers were like not like today, you yeah. know? <laughs> yeah. So for the future, um, I don't know, I, I think The most important thing is not like the technique and not like the synthesizer. It's like your idea and what you have in your heart to, to give to the people. That's like the most important thing. So, I see. Yeah. Okay. And um, we were talking about the crowd and I read in an interview, I think for, for, for Ultra, where you said that during COVID, um, you were uh, afraid, uh, like worried, not to have a crowd anymore because uh, because like maybe everyone will stay at home and don't go party. No, yeah, I was, I was like, when there was like Corona, I was like one year at home, like chilling in the garden. For me, I mean, it was perfect because like after 2019, we had so many gigs, so it was super nice to be at home. But I was talking with my girlfriend and uh, I was I was telling her, Maybe, I mean, after two years of Corona, maybe nobody wants to go to party anymore, you know, because they don't know it and they're used to it to not go to the party. But if I see this... Yeah, I think that... No. <laughs> <It's> no. Like, <laughs> but what if the crowd disappeared at, like, from one day to another? Would you still make music? Yes, because, because I was never like um, a DJ. When I was starting to produce music, I, I didn't know that you can be a DJ as well. Mm. I was just thinking, okay, I make my music because I love it and I release it and maybe make some money out of it. But I didn't know that you can play. So yeah. that... Yeah. So you will For still me, produce it. Yeah. yeah. Um, this place is almost 2,000 years old. It's it's a very beautiful place. Most One of the most... Uh, Uh, well-preserved uh, arena from the Roman uh, uh, period. If you could travel to uh, in the past to another in uh, another uh, yeah, you know, another, time of our yeah. history, which one would you travel to? Two. Okay, two. Two. Yeah. Um, I would go to like uh, the place where the people were living in a castle because um, that's super interesting because of the. They're using like these swords and yeah. they look super heavy. Um, and on the other side, I would really go to the Wild West with the guns, you know, oh, that's, yeah. that's crazy as well. That's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> like two, two things I would do, yeah. Interesting. Um, well, thank you very much, Boris. Uh, I will just check if I don't forget anyone from the online question. Uh, oh yeah, last question from Yazanal Yajar third set with Circle, what makes Circle so special to you? Um, I mean, if I remember in the past, there was like uh, a lot of companies which were doing like live sets with different DJs, but 
I don't know, circle was like the first one which were not doing only a live set. They were like combining this with a super nice location. And this is not easy to do, you know? I mean, um, and that's for me, I mean, I play my own music together with my mask. So it's a nice combination and Circle is doing live shows in different locations, massive locations. There's, what can I say? It's perfect. Thank you so much, man. It was such an honor to have you. And I hope that if we have you for the first time, it will be even nicer. Yeah, smaller, but smaller, but even more nicer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, we have, you know, you know us, we have a tradition and uh, it's the mystery box. It's a small gift. Ah, yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Uh, and you know that it's Easter. <laughs> I think that you will eat so much chocolate. No, uh, actually, I do not like too much chocolate. Oh, you, but oh my God, sorry maybe, about maybe, that. Maybe my girl likes it. We have other gifts for you. Don't worry, it's uh, your mask uh, like with, with chocolate. So it's, uh, it's a very nice um, uh, chocolate place here from Nîmes called the Courtin. Thank okay. you to them. Uh, they made this like very special with a very special technique. So uh, I think they did a great job, right? Oh, really nice, really nice. Thank you so much, Boris. I, I hope I can keep it to Germany, I don't know. Mm, I don't know how many days, maybe one, two days, but no more. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, man. Thank you, thank man. You. And uh, thank you to all the team involved, all the production team, all the, like everyone involved. There are so much people and they are always behind, you know, uh, all these crazy things. And that's thanks to them that we can do that. So thank you very much. Thank you also to the city of Nîmes to, for their warm welcome. And we hope to see you very soon. Next one is our festival at Bourget. Uh, we hope to see you uh, massively at this festival. And uh, big hugs to everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.